Kyle Moore joins us now. And Kyle, post time debut. Don't you love it? We need some cheers or something in the background. Okay, that's much better. All right, Kyle. Now let's start out with how did you get into harness racing? Uh, my grandparents about when I was 12 years old. So, and I'm 24 now, so quite a few years. Okay, all right. 24, whoa, he's getting up there in age, right? <laughs> so, um, so they got you into it, and you actually started out with ponies, is that right? Yeah, me and Brandon, we bought a roan filly, and me and him raced her, so. Okay. That's pretty cool, so you start out kind of like with a little equine, and then you learn how to race the pony, and then obviously you just go to something a little bit bigger. Yeah. Now, you've really developed your stable. Like, you have, for being 24 years old, you have a successful big stable. How Thank many you. do you have? 14 okay. right now. Do you have a favorite in the barn? Casey Colt. Okay. Tell me about him a little bit. Uh, my grandfather bought him from the Delaware, Ohio sale, and he wasn't supposed to end up with him because he was a no-sale in a sale. So he got Wayne Givens to contact the guy who owned them, and he said, yeah, I'll sell them for the right price. So he bought them, so ended up with them. So. And he's obviously doing pretty well for you. Okay, and how well is he doing? He's had a couple wins, well, a lot more seconds and thirds. He's more of a check getter than a winner, so, but he's tough. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. As long as they're bringing home some checks, you know, and they're feeding themselves, that's that's always good. That's what I say about my kids, too. As long as they're able to, you know, pay for themselves and feed themselves, they're doing okay. <laughs> now, you had a world record holder in the barn, though, right? Yeah, I took care of Rare Bunny for my grandmother and to go the distance here at Dover, so it was the world record at the time, so... Well, explain the go the distance a little bit because that was a series that was here at Dover and they did kind of odd distances, right? Yeah, it was for 75 claimers and 10 claimers. The first week they started out at five eighths a mile, then a mile, and then a mile and a quarter, I believe. So. And he got the world record for five eighths of a mile. We yeah. want to clarify that. Okay, yep. very cool. Okay, uh, now tell me, like, did you always know you wanted to do this? I mean, as far as like when you first started working with the ponies, were you like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is what I'm gonna do when I, when I grow up. <laughs> He's still like such a youngin, isn't he? He's like 24. I mean, I can barely think of him as like a grown up, but I suppose he is. Yeah. Yeah, I. Uh I started going to the barn on the weekends and stuff, and the first couple months I was hooked. I was ready to go. So, a matter of fact, I'd rather be at the barn than school when I was in high school. So, that's why my grades slacked off in high school. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to say, stay in school. It's cool if you stay in school, right? Because you did graduate, correct? Yep. yep, I graduated in 05 from Sussex Tech. So. Oh, hello. Behind us is Orlando Green. Okay. <laughs> Look behind, can you see him? There's Orlando, okay. Orlando, yeah, he thinks he's so smooth being behind the camera, but he he's not too smooth for us on post time. No way, we got him, we got him. Yeah, that deserves a high five, Kyle. Woo, all right. Thank you so much for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Did you have fun on your debut? Yeah, yeah, a lot of fun. Okay, all right, good. Thanks so much again. Thank you.